Technis and Technis Ihance Intraocular Lenses from Johnson & Johnson. Full and detailed review, pros and cons, strengths and weaknesses of the model. Hi there, my name is Oleksi and you are at IOL Advisor Channel, telling the truth about intraocular lenses. In today's review, I'm talking about two intraocular lens models, the standard monofocal Technis and the innovative monofocal Technis Ihance. Why am I reviewing these two lenses together? because they're built on the same Technus platform and share many core features. But there's one key difference, the quality of vision at intermediate distances. As you may remember from my previous videos, standard monofocal IOLs provide excellent distance vision, but vision at intermediate and near distances drops off sharply. iHands changes that by improving vision at intermediate range. It's about two extra lines compared to any other monofocal lens on the market. How exactly does it work? I'll get into the details later, but first, let's go over the basics of the Technis platform. Technis IOLs are made by Johnson & Johnson Vision, or JNJ for short. The company used to be known as AMO, American Medical Optics, and later Abbott Medical Optics. The Technis lens has a long history and strong reputation. One of the standard features is the high level of negative spherical aberration correction. Negative 0.27 microns. That's one of the strongest corrections on the market. Why minus 0.27? Because the average cornea has plus 0.27 microns of positive spherical aberration, so this lens balances it out to nearly zero. People's eyes vary, not everyone has plus 0.27, but on a population level, it's a solid average. So the design philosophy behind this lens is to deliver the sharpest, highest contrast image on the retina by maximizing spherical aberration correction. Another strong point of the lens is its material. Being hydrophobic acrylic with no water content, it has a high Abbey number, which helps reduce chromatic aberration and further boosts contrast and image quality. And here's another important thing. Over the years, this lens has shown excellent long-term clarity. It's not prone to glistenings or microvacuoles, so it stays clear. The Technis lens has a sharp, uninterrupted square edge around the entire posterior surface which helps prevent posterior capsule opacification, PCO. On the anterior surface, there's a sharp feature that protects against anterior capsule opacification too. Together, these features significantly reduce the risk of lens clouding. Add to that the stable three-point fixation system called TriFix, and you get a very stable IOL platform. In my opinion, Technis is one of the best IOL platforms available today. Now let's see what the manufacturer says. Time for my fact check. Now please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button below to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. Let's do the fact check. Just like Alcon, J&J &J has a site dedicated to cataract care called Beyond Cataract. But unfortunately, like Alcon's site, it doesn't offer much in-depth information about specific IOL models, just basic marketing points. It's monofocal, it's for distance vision, and better than expected results. And of course, you'll need reading glasses. Nothing new here. The real professional info is on J&J and J Vision Pro. But oddly enough, the surgical IOL section was down the day I recorded this. Maybe they were doing updates, but I wasn't about to cancel filming because of that. Luckily, I have access to J&J's professional brochures, which mirror what's on the site. So let's break down the main claims. Claim number one, distance vision that exceeds expectations. 2016 vision in two-thirds of patients. That's about 125% or 12 lines on a decimal scale, better than the standard 10 lines considered perfect vision. And the claim is backed up by clinical studies, so it seems reliable. But does that mean every patient will see 12 lines after surgery? Not quite. As I said in my video about what to expect after cataract surgery, refractive surprises happen. That 12-line result assumes a perfect refractive outcome, and even then, it's usually measured as best corrected vision, that is, with glasses. Next claim. Technis offers better contrast sensitivity than Alcon Acrisof under both bright and low light conditions. 14% better in bright light and 35% better in low light. Again, these are backed by studies, and they make sense from a design perspective. Remember, Technis has clear optics and full spherical aberration correction, Acrisoft has yellow optics and moderate correction. And as I've said before, Technis also performs better in terms of chromatic aberration. 
Its Abbey number is 55, compared to Akrisov's 38. So both spherical and chromatic aberration correction contribute to better contrast, just like in high-end photography lenses. One more claim, improved vision under low light conditions, based on driving simulations. I couldn't find the source behind these exact numbers, but it's similar to Alcon's approach of comparing their best and worst lenses. Likely the same idea here. Anyway, these kinds of break reaction time tests are very specific and not always relevant to daily life. Moving on, Johnson & Johnson doesn't hype up incision size, unlike some competitors. It's a standard 2.2 to 2.4 millimeters, nothing special, but that's fine. Now let's talk about Technis eye hands and why I believe it's the best monofocal IOL in the world right now. So, what makes eye hands different from any other standard monofocal IOL? You probably remember that with standard monofocals, the defocus curve drops sharply as objects get closer. So, at intermediate range, you may only see four, three, or even two lines. That's a problem. And not just because you need reading glasses. Think about daily life, grocery shopping, cooking, hobbies, walking, climbing stairs. All these activities happen within arm's reach. That's the intermediate zone. Plus, walking safely on uneven ground requires good mid-range vision. Many studies have linked poor intermediate vision, whether due to presbyopia or standard monofocal eye oils, to increased risk of falls and injury, especially in patients who don't wear progressive glasses. So intermediate vision is not just about comfort, it's about safety. Now back to Ahance. The key advantage is that it gives you about two extra lines of intermediate vision without compromising distance vision. How? Well, Ahance is still a monofocal lens. No diffractive rings, no multifocal zones. That means no halos, no starbursts, no drop in contrast sensitivity. The trick lies in its front surface design, what the manufacturer calls higher order asphericity. It's a smooth transition in curvature from the center to the periphery, customized for each lens power. That gives you better intermediate vision without sacrificing contrast or clarity. Are there any downsides? Well, one minor point. The original Technis monofocal can deliver up to 12 lines of distance vision, 125%. Ihance maxes out at just over 100% or negative 0.04 logmar. But the two extra lines of intermediate vision more than make up for that. And of course, fact check, on Beyond Cataract, they do show an infographic about better intermediate vision. And yes, open source data confirms that multiple clinical trials have backed this up. Even more important, I know direct feedback from surgeons from Ukraine and Europe who've implanted Ahance and seen great results. So yes, Ahance passes the fact check with no issues. It's a fantastic option for cataract patients who don't need near vision correction but want more from their lens than basic monofocal functionality. It's significantly cheaper than presbyopia correcting IOLs and only slightly more expensive than standard monofocals. So if near vision isn't critical for you and you'd like a safer, more comfortable visual experience, definitely ask your surgeon about Ahance. One more important point. Ahance has a smoother defocus curve than traditional monofocals. That means that if your refractive result is slightly off, a small hyperopic miss, you won't lose as much distance vision as you would with a standard monofocal. Your intermediate and distance vision will still be better than in a similar situation with a basic lens. To sum it all up, Johnson and Johnson Technis and Technis Ihance are high quality intraocular lenses premium grade solutions in modern cataract surgery. If you like this video, please hit the like button and see you soon.